Well hello again everybody, welcome back and part three of security pins and this time we're going to look at the pinning pins as a lot of people have asked so the majority of the time what we see is two types of pinning pin we've got the multi-locks and then individuals mainly see them in challenge locks but I've got a few bits and pieces here to try and explain how they work so we start off with these are multi-lock pins so this will be the key pin and excuse me just trying to work around the camera here isn't the easiest uh, so we have a pin in pin as we can see so we've got an inner pin and an outer pin and if we insert that in there as you can see comes out the bottom and leaves a hole in the top when you try and pick it you can pick up past the top of the outer pin if it depends on the length of these because these are all match the same as key pins would be to the bitting of the key and then above that we have the driver pin which is actually internally spring loaded if we can see that So that will actually exert pressure on the inner key pin and the main spring here will exert pressure on the outer pins and so these would actually sit in the lock like so and that's how it would be seated as you can see we have different variations is a slightly different key pin that one's a spool standards and planes the other thing we have to deal with with some of these as well if I can get what well you can see I'm having a job getting this out is I don't know if we can actually see this if we can see there's a groove on the bottom of the inner pin for the driver and there is actually a groove I have tried to get this on camera before I don't know if we can see it so let's drop that down I don't know if we can get enough light in here let's try all the lights off if we can get it to focus and it's a bit hard to see on the small screen but there is a groove inside there so once this goes in it's effectively like a serration on both parts so they actually try to lock together just like so just to make life even more difficult for us so just trying to explain I almost forgot we also have the sort of T-pins we have in challenge locks which aren't spring loaded but they are more like a very long T-pin with a outer around it but I'll show you more about those in detail in a minute so we have a new contraption which I'm struggling to get to work but these are uh, multi-lock pins so I'm starting this position because it's hard to get this set up into this position uh, quite often you'll see when I'm picking multi-locks is that uh, 
everybody says about picking outer pins then inner pins but quite often you will need to pick an outer pin very last when you get that very deep full set what can happen is we can be in this sort of position whereas if you're picking the inner pin it won't actually pick the outer pin and it's not until you go to pick the outer pin again if we can get this to work that you can actually get that to right, let's cheat a little bit there so that happens when when you get those very deep full sets and multi locks that's normally the sort of position you'll be in is you'll have one maybe even two key pins or driver pins sat like so and the inner pins might not pick them which is why you end up picking now to pin to finish off the picking so uh, hopefully describes that what I'm going to have to do is lift this camera up a little bit and back to the trusty old wooden lock so what we have here is the setup you find in a multi lock so we've got the outer driver pin here and spring above it we then have the inner pin with a spring and then we have the outer and inner key pins so once this goes in let's see if we can get this to work properly this isn't the most reliable of setups so as you can see the Uh, driver key pin, uh, inner pin will be sitting inside this, inside the outer key pin so when we start trying to pick we pick the outer pins and we'll get a very small full set uh, because this is solid all the way up on the proper one and then we're in the position where as you can see spring loaded onto the key pin inner key pin and then when we try and pick that that is oh, when we can finally get it open as you can see this doesn't work quite so well in wood as it does in the actual lock but it gives us an idea put that back in the wrong way around so you can see how the multi locks work and why we get a small full set to start with then when you're picking the if this drops down that's when you can get your deep full set like I showed you in the other one and then when you pick that if I can get enough on there it actually opens the lock so if we get this out of here a second Now, pin and pin, or pin and pins, as of the type we find in challenge locks. If I just swap this over, so effectively we've got our driver pin, 
outer sleeve and then we've got the elongated T-pin and let's pick this one with a standard pin in the bottom yet again these can all be serrated so we start picking and you'll notice we're pushing the spring up with with the inner pin and then when we get to pick it we then end up in this situation so full set same sort of thing and uh, we end up having to carry on going to pick the pick the inner pin on that then the other way this can work is as a driver pin and we'll start picking and let's see if we can get this to actually work I might have to spin that round I think, hang on so we can actually get to the way they're designed to work if I can get this to play ball is something along these sort of lines get this to come down so effectively gives us another shear line if we over pick it we can actually get to here Sorry, we can see that so if you happen to over pick it you can catch the top of the t-pin this will drop down and yet again it's just another interesting way to make the lock feel different and cause us more problems when picking. So I hope that all made sense and it gave you a better understanding of pinning pins and how they work. Uh, I'm sure somebody will be able to come up with a far better contraption than this one for the pinning pins but it's getting to the limit of my capabilities with wood so anyway I hope that was useful thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon bye